hallo meine Lieben und herzlich willkommen zurück zu The Council. Ähm, ich hoffe, ich habe es richtig ausgesprochen. Ich habe ja jetzt äh, momentan äh, Tell Me Why dazwischen geschoben und äh, ja, muss jetzt hier wieder ein bisschen reinkommen, aber ich denke, das wird uns sehr leicht fallen. Wir begeben uns jetzt in den roten Saal. Konnten wir rennen? Ja. Ah, es gibt Essen. Sehr Dear schön. friends, I bid you welcome. I hope the night was not too short. Your Eminence, Duchess, Monsieur de Richet, allow me to introduce our new guests. They arrived during the night. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs and close aide of Frederick William II, King of Prussia. Napoleon Bonaparte. Lieutenant of the French Revolutionary Army, and Jacques Peru, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. Unfortunately, my friends, Lord Mortimer will not be joining us this morning, but he should be with us later. So, der let us begin. Der What me. is Mortimer playing it? He tells me to come urgently, and he sends no one to meet me? Uh, uh, please, go ahead. I did not know. What do you want to know? Huh. Peru looks totally out of place here. I'm not sure if I understand. Good. He's please, counting please, the ten sets of cutlery around each plate. The man is completely lost. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you again for the My dear Johan, how are you? Glad to make landfall at last. And yourself? Very well. And your husband? He's poorly. The French Revolution gives him terrible headaches. Oh, I understand. I shall feel better too, as soon as the situation is settled. If by chance the French crisis is emulated in Berlin, there will always be a refuge for you in London, my dear. Your offer does you honor, Emily. But oh. London is much closer to Paris than Berlin. <laughs> Beware. The French are capable of sailing up the Thames straight to the Houses of Parliament. Mm -hmm. Oh, my friend, I am shaking in my clogs. Oh, dear. <laughs> hmm. Is the wine to your lucky? Very much so, Sir Gregory. Such complexity. Typically French. A Sauterne, isn't it? Absolutely! If I'm not mistaken, this is not Lord Mortimer's favorite wine. It is yours. In his absence, I have taken the liberty of making a slight deviation from the rule. But I count on your discretion. <laughs> Don't worry, I appreciate the same grape varieties as you. I remember the last time we tasted that nectar here at this table. The finest minds of the century were present. And the last time we drank it, the orphanage in Bloomsbury was still in ruins. Would... would you repeat that? Oh, well, uh, I put some small effort <laughs> into the works. The orphanage reopened just before Christmas. The bedrooms, washrooms, and the classrooms had all been refurbished. I... I don't know what to say. You have given the girls a wonderful Christmas gift. Thank you. I made a promise. Now it is done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's the first time I've ever seen her so moved. I Just mention that orphanage broke right through Emily's <gasps> hard shell. Oh? <laughs> Is everything all right? Yes, oh, thank dear. you. Mm. I had a moment of absence, <laughs> but here I am again. Washington fragen, was er von Wölner hält. Emily fragen, was sie von Wölner hält. Wölner näher kann dann Emily fragen. Mit der können wir gut. What do you think of Wölner? The Prussian king is his puppet. I find it hard to believe the king of Prussia is so weak. Be careful. Wölner is as influential as he is dangerous. You seem to know each other well. We used to work together. I see. <laughs> Oh. Have you any information on this Napoleon? Vermutung anstellen. Yeah. He's certainly well connected and in high places. Surprising. 
No one appears to know him. No one knows me, and yet here I am. Quite so. My friend. Monsieur de Richet? It would seem we have common interests. Could we speak in private, please? <laughs> Not really, no. Ach, da würde ich nicht hingehen mit keinem, ey. Oh, fuck no. Lord Mortimer and the Golden Order, through your mother, have concluded a financial agreement. Stay composed, Louis. I'm listening. An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. You must know that I am deeply sorry about our disappearance, but I must validate the deal urgently if I want to be able to organize things properly. I haven't seen Lord Mortimer yet. I'm afraid I'll be unable to answer your questions. He assured me that you could replace your mother during her absence. I appreciate his confidence, but still, this is a bit hasty. But please continue. Of course. But I need to know if I can count you among my allies. Well, of course. And for that, I have a little question for you. The agreement stipulates an aid of 50,000 Louis d'Or for 200 cannon. Zeige Napoleon, wie kompetent du bist. Das ist nicht die passende Zeit. Ja, das Geschäft gilt. Nein, das Geschäft gilt. Ich habe keine Ahnung. Das ist nicht die richtige Zeit. I've only just taken over the effect. The agreement will be considered null and void until we've gone through it together. Is that clear? All right. You seem to know what you're doing. I have one last question I would like to pose to you. We don't know each other yet, you and I. And I need to make sure that we both share the same vision for the future of France. Given the hard times that have befallen our beautiful country, what do you think it would take to restore its uh, luster? Ein Kontrevolution, wieder Einführung der Monarchie, das Volk soll frei wählen. Ich sag mal eine Kontrevolution. The revolution was a good thing, but it gave birth to a monster. We must overthrow the new system in place. Ah, you are right. Monsieur de Richer, I am reassured. I am very happy to have met you. Lord Mortimer was right to put his trust in you. I hope to work with you in the very near future. I would like to thank you for your support by offering you this humble little gift. Hmm. Reflections on the revolution in France. Monsieur Bonaparte, I thank you for this gesture and please know that I too am delighted to have met you. My friends, I would like to say a few words, please. I would like to thank Lord Mortimer and you, Sir Holm, for bringing us all together here. Those of us for whom it is not the first time here, like me, are all trembling in sweet anticipation of the arrival of our host. For the rest, I would like to reassure you that Lord Mortimer always has a few surprising projects to propose. <laughs> but I can assure you that each and every one of us has always benefited from them. <laughs> the last time I came to this place, Lord Mortimer offered to help me in my electoral campaign for the presidency of the United States. And it is imminently clear that his support was an invaluable aid to us. We are here among like-minded people. So let us put aside the conflicts in which some of our nations find themselves at present. So I raise my glass in honor of you all, my new and old friends. I trust you shall not be disappointed, Mr. Washington. Uh, Wenn die Zeit abläuft, wird Ottmann schon eine Antwort ausgewählt, bald ja. Right, we shall Scheiße. meet again tomorrow. All the guests will be present, as well as Lord Mortimer, I hope. Until then, I trust you will find plenty to keep you amused. Da sind Schmetterlinge am Vorhang. Ja, das ist mir auch aufgefallen. Überall sind Schmetterlinge. 
Nicht nur am Vorhang. Okay, Episode 1, 3. Weine und Kanonen. Ohne Erfolg, aber ich habe einen Teil beschmutzt. Ähm, alternative Wege gab es nicht, aber ich habe die Nachricht von Mutter im Buch gefunden. Ich habe Elisabeth Adams dazu gebracht, mit ihr, mir über ihre Mutter zu sprechen. Ich habe Elisabeth Adams ihren Talisman zurückgegeben. Ich habe die Gäste beim Dinner getroffen. Ich habe Napoleon bewiesen, dass ich ein würdiger Nachfolger meiner Mutter bin. Und ich habe Elisabeth Adams Zimmer durchsucht. Ich habe Napoleons Zimmer durchsucht. Schön. Uh. So, wir haben vier Dinger frei wieder. Also vier Punkte. Ähm Ach, meine Jüde, nee. Für, ähm Überzeugung habe ich ja schon. Ablenkung. Ich sollte auch politisches Wissen mal haben und vielleicht auch mal Sprachen. Heimlichkeit mache ich mal einmal und Sprachen. Okkultismus habe ich schon. Logik, Gewandtheit. Äh, ich glaube, ich nehme noch die Politik und dann nehme ich noch die Gewandtheit. Alright, let's recap. Before dinner, I was going to investigate my mother's message. I've got to find the place where all eyes size you up. So, jetzt haben wir natürlich hier, ähm, haben, haben wir die schon gelesen? Etikette habe ich. Genau, ähm, das habe ich auch, die Kunst der Menschen ins Ges in der Gesichtszüge hier so. Jetzt nehmen wir Punkte der, äh, Punkte der Etikette, Überzeugung, Politik, Manipulation, Wissenschaft. Ich würde jetzt gerne, äh, Manipulation lesen. So, den Ort finden, wo mich alle Augen mustern. Boah. Das ist echt heftig. Dann gucken wir mal. Können wir hier noch irgendwie was machen? Aufgegessen haben sie ja nicht wirklich alle hier. Die Vorhänge sind dicht, aber auch. Oh. Well, your eminence, do you still have any room left? Ah, my son, the scene of gluttony is the most difficult of all in my eyes. Nevertheless, what a charming moment we have had together. I'm delighted I was able to talk to Mr. Von Waldner. We hadn't spoken to each other for an eternity. Yes, I noticed that your eminence knew a fair number of people at the table. The benefit of age, my son. This isn't my first invitation to Lord Mortimer's. You will see, it's the perfect place to make new friends. Indeed, I noticed that you and Mr. Bonaparte had already begun. Ah, uh, I adapt quickly to local customs. It's what I was taught. <laughs> And you are right to do so, my son. But tell me, have you had any news of your mother since your arrival? <sighs> Alas, still nothing, your minutes. But I still haven't been able to meet Lord Mortimer. Do not worry. It is typical of him. What can I say? Lord Mortimer is a very busy man. I should think you are beginning to worry. Well, I, I must admit, your eminence, Indeed, it does worry me. I understand, Louis. But continue to have faith in Sarah. You'll see, I'm sure, that in a few days we'll all be laughing together. That's all I hope for, Your Eminence. Hmm. But while I have you with me, I, I have a question for you. Well, go ahead, Louis. What can I do for you? Suche nach Medusa. Wo dich alle Augen mustern, sagt ihm das was. If I said to you, Where all eyes size you up, would it mean anything to you? I don't know if it's the place you're looking for, Louis, but it makes me think of the portrait gallery. There's a gallery here? Can you tell me where to find it, please? Of course. Just go through the door at the end. It will lead into the library. 
continue all the way through, and you'll end up in the gallery. You'll see it, Louis. When you get there, you'll know. Thank you very much, Your Eminence. On that last word, then I shall leave you to fight your demons. See you later, Your Eminence. See you later, my son. Ich finde ja, muss ich ganz ehrlich sagen, ich mag ja den französischen Akzent sehr gerne, wenn er nicht so gespielt ist. Ne? Der ist ja bei den meisten sehr stark gespielt, also äh, in Serien, Filmen oder äh, bei Spielen. Aber was mich absolut fertig macht, nervlich, ist französischer Akzent beim, beim Englisch sprechen. Da kriegt krieg ich die Krise bei. Oh, ich finde das schrecklich. The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. Mhm. Mm Schloss knacken. Uh, ein Leckerchen. All right, I've retrieved everything. Seriously. Scheiße, ich kann nichts mehr nehmen. Dining on ham. Well, that's very appetizing. Amber crystals. Tja, haben wir jetzt auch schon wieder was? Ein Schlüssel mit einem okkulten Symbol. Was eine Bibliothek. Oh, mein Gott. Das Wer, boah, ich brauche auch sowas. DC, oh mein Gott. Atrus, the Miller Brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. A few pages out of an old encyclopedia. Da ist die Galerie. Klar, das Bild vom letzten Abendmahl darf nicht fehlen. Na, oh, das sieht gut aus mit dem Open Vorhang. Where all eyes size you up. Hmm. Chances are, that's the room my mother spoke of. And she also spoke of a Medusa. Should we go and try to find the creature now? Allegory regarding the decoration of the rights of men. That's the least you could say. Finde Medusa. Liberty or death by Regnault. Well, I'll take liberty, please. Okay, Medusa. But, well, I do understand his choice, even though it seems radical. Das ist wahrscheinlich so, wieder... Ja. The name means nothing to me. Okay, ich muss auch gucken, dass ich hier auch sonst alles so mitkriege. Ich könnte mich jetzt hier hinsetzen. Ich mach das auch mal eben. Okay, habe ich. Ich weiß ja nicht, ob irgendwas getriggert wird dadurch. Christ crucified by Velasquez. Look, someone's left a note there. Reserved for the Duke of Alquidia. The Song of Roland. Roland feeleth his death is near, his brain is oozing by either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. The Fall of Phaeton, another painting by Rubens. Poor Phaeton, struck by lightning for borrowing his father's chariot and losing control of it. Moral, don't steal dad's chariot. Letzte Abend mal. Ich gehe jetzt nicht alle durch, ja, da müssen wir hier mal gucken. Devil's Thorn. I'll keep it. Medusa, da ist er doch. Habe ich hier sonst noch was? Hm. 
painting with no name. Ja, das ist doch hier der Gastgeber. Medusa. I've got to find out what Mother was trying to do with her. The Medusa. A hero armed with a sword? Mhm. Mm hmm. A hero with a lantern? Mhm. Mm And the last one holding a shield. Mm -hmm. I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devils are about to face the beast. Let's give them a helping hand. Löse das Medusa Rätsel, ja. The statue is darker on the right hand side. It must be often placed towards the fire, which would explain the difference in color. In that case, it would be facing the Medusa. Mm -hmm. Perfect for the coup de grace. Okay. Can I not here? Mal so. Now, Louis, it's time to keep a logical mind, as every good scientist should. The aim is to defeat the Medusa. So, what can the lantern be for? To light up the Medusa? <laughs> Hardly likely. The hero holding the lantern will be easy prey, and the shield will be of no use. To light up the sword? No, that makes no sense. So that leaves the shield. Hmm. I wonder if the aim is to play with the light. If I turn the shield right, the light would be reflected. The oh. ray of light will perturb the Medusa and focus her attention on the best protected hero. Pretty smart. But it also means I have to make sure I get the shield position just right. Then we could... Wait a minute. Moment, I have to think. Oh, hier haben wir noch was. Ein Buch? The Origin of Myths. A reinterpretation of legendary creatures. Just mm -hmm. what I need. The text is in French on the left-hand page and in Latin on the right hand. Let's find the chapter on the Medusa. Na gut, den französischen Text lesen. Hang ne? on. This version is significantly different from the regular one. It recounts how men have always belittled women in society. Harpies, mermaids, the chimera, the hydra, the gorgons. Ah, the section on the Medusa. While some of the heroes divert attention from the gorgon, the hero with the sword brandishes his weapon at the Medusa. Hang on. This version Ach so, is mehr krieg ich nicht. Oh. from the regular one. Yeah, yeah, Here kann ich. Oh. That's how men have always believed in society. Harpies, mermaids, the chimera, the hydra, the gorgons. Ah, the section on the Medusa. While some of the heroes divert attention from the gorgon, the hero with the sword brandishes his weapon at the Medusa. Toll, jetzt haben wir genau das erfahren, was wir... So. Mach mal so. Und? Das war falsch. Also auf sie wird ja hier angeleuchtet, ne? Kann ich stimmen?
So müsste das eigentlich... Aber das wäre ja dann auch scheiße, weil so könnte es hier jetzt nicht, ne? Anleuchten. Es ergibt keinen Sinn, wenn die Statue, wenn die vertauscht werden würde das, oder bin ich einfach nur wieder geradezu blöd? Das Licht leuchtet. Die Laterne leuchtet auf das Schild und das Schild reflektiert das. Verstehe ich nicht. Oh, ich kann die Statue auch drehen. If I respect the legend, I have to place the hero holding the shield in front of the Medusa. Except for here, it doesn't work. There must be something else. Jetzt. Ich hab's. Sake, Emily, you scared the pants off me. Don't ever do that again. You keep your nose out of my business, then. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. Ehrlich antworten, der Frage und Humor ausweichen mit einer Frage antworten. Oh yeah? So tell me what you're doing here. I'm just, I mean, I... Yeah, just like me. Probably, but I asked the question first. Well then, we'll pretend you haven't asked me yet. What about a little gallantry, Louis? Come on, I'm listening. What are you doing here? Ladies first. <laughs> Ein Witz machen, Spülchen kurz unterbrechen, ein Witz machen. I admit everything, madam. You win. I've been bitten by the same bug as you. I beg your pardon? We can't resist being where we shouldn't, seeking out our host's little secrets. So, we have that in common, right? I really thought you were going to answer me this time. Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh, yeah. In your dreams. <laughs> At your service, madam. Der war nicht schlecht. Aber ich muss jetzt eh Schluss machen, meine Lieben. Und sage dann mal Tschüss, bis zum nächsten Mal.